The concept of diversity in today's workplace means recognizing and including all of our differences. This ranges from variety in how we think, to our physical abilities, to our ethnicity. This chapter examines how these differences impact the way we communicate interpersonally and provides insight into how inclusive practices can complement diversity and pave the way for more successful communication. To understand diversity in the Canadian context, we review our roots and treaty relationships with Aboriginals and aim to understand the difference between a U.S.-style melting pot philosophy and a Canadian-style mosaic approach. We also examine how Canada's official shift to multiculturalism in the early 1970s has impacted cultural diversity. We also see that in the 21st century, there's increasing evidence leveraging diversity results in more innovation, more profit, and better social outcomes. Past and future demographic change has also had a huge impact on diversity. Considering Canada's sheer size, the landscape impacts the people and their livelihoods and results in interprovincial, interterritorial migration. Canada's relatively small population and birth rate also impacts the level of immigration, which can result in further national, linguistic, and cultural diversity. Terminology and concepts related to diversity are examined next to provide a basis to understanding some workplace and communication challenges. These terms include things like biases and stereotypes, as well as concepts like inclusion. While it may be hard to stay on top of every possible manifestation of diversity, you have the chance to learn about the variety typically considered in Canadian workplaces. These include religious, cultural, generational, age, gender, linguistic, sexual orientation, and socioeconomic. With a firmer grasp on this variety, we look at some of the communication challenges with diversity. We review similarity attraction phenomenon, where we tend to only engage people who are similar to us, and fault lines, where teams tend to split off into communication subgroups of people with similar backgrounds. These tendencies make inclusion, as well as interpersonal communication with people different from us, more difficult. Having understood the benefits of being aware of our myriad differences based on demographics and other Canadian sociocultural values, you will have learned important concepts, terminology, and types of diversity. With an understanding of these benefits and challenges, you improve your potential for successful interpersonal communication.